Hello, I'm Yvonne Abro and I'm currently doing a series on the Old English runes. And the next up is Thorn. As the name suggests, this is a rune that represents thorns. It also represents the god Thor and his hammer Mjolnir and thunder by extension. So it's quite a complex symbol. It's also really good for protection. A lot of people put the, the rune thorn on things they want to protect, either in a ring or um, you can also visualise it grow, growing out of your aura if you want to. Um, you can chant its name over things that you want to protect. And if it shows up in a reading, it usually means that there's something that needs to be protected. Um, and Thor was the god of justice for, for the peasants, really. He was the protector of farmers and the ordinary people, whereas Odin was often seen as the protector of the aristocracy. Um, Thor was basically your original socialist. Uh, so I like it for that. Uh, if you want to get an insight into the character of the god Thor, uh, you could watch the Netflix series Ragnarok um, because it's a really good series and it gives an excellent insight into his character. So Thorn is um, where we get our modern th sound. And if you ever see one of those tea shops that sort of appears to say ye olde tea shop, it's actually the, the thing that looks like a Y is actually the English alphabet version of the, the Thorn Rune. So it's the olde tea shop. So here it is, Thorn. There you go. Um, you can use it in chanting. Um, so the Old English practice of chanting, which was known all over the Germanic and Norse world, um, was called Galdra, and um, you used it to enchant, because enchant literally means to sing, to enchant. Um, you, you can use it to enchant things and, um, again, for protection. So it would just be thorn and the more you intone it over the thing you want to protect, the better. Um, so that is the Thorn Rune and its protective powers and its association with the god Thor.